Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This loading screen right here says it all. Foot birthday is confirmed. It is coming to FIFA 22 on Friday. This is the car design, and there's a couple hints in this loading screen, along with some leaks on Twitter that I want to take a look at today, impacting the market already as people are preparing for this very high anticipated promo, right? Foot birthday is a promo that everybody loves in FIFA. And it's coming early this year. We weren't sure after yesterday's video with the league starting to come out. It seems really early compared to normal, but it is confirmed now, of course, not just by leaks, but by EA themselves, that foot birthday is this Friday. So the market is starting to get prepared for that. I want to take a look at some prices that have dropped, but some also areas to watch for this weekend because foot birthday is a promo that brings the hype in terms of content. So that's going to mean that a lot of fodder is going to be moving, I think, over the next couple of weeks. And in this weekend in general, I think there might be opportunities with that along with the rest of the market as this promo drops. So we're going to talk about all of that today and more heading into Thursday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. So if you're excited for Foot Birthday again, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's get right into it and look at the loading screen because there's actually back in the good old days when we didn't have leaks every single week telling us what the promo was going to be. We kind of had to deduce what EA was hiding in these loading screens. Now, I'm going to hide my face cam here for a second and show you what is behind. You see the boot, the boot with the five stars on it. That confirms what we thought was going to be happening, that this is going to be a five-star skill, five-star weak foot based promo, just like it was last year in FIFA 21. Also, you see a lot of 13s in this screenshot as well on this loading screen. That is because this is the 13th year of FIFA Ultimate Team. It's crazy how time flies, but that's why the 13s are everywhere on the car design, which is, this is the official design right here. Uh, and then of course, you've got the cake down here in the bottom right. You've got the stars uh, in other parts uh, of the screen as well. Uh, so that's kind of what we see right now. Now today on Thursday, we might see an update to this. The, you know, sometimes as they do, they tease players here on the loading screen. They might give us some cards with some nations or some stats you know, positions, stuff like that. But we do have a couple leaks already of what to expect in this promo, right? From our trusty source, Mr. Foot Sheriff on Twitter. Uh, there's, I think, three solid leaks that we have as of right now for players. Now, this one is an objective. And starting off, you look at this Tammy Abraham objective card and you're like, okay, either five-star skills or five-star weak foot, that's pretty cool. But the stats on this card really don't look that great if I'm being completely honest, right? So uh, hopefully the stats are a little bit better than this, unless these are confirmed, but that card right there looks, uh, it just looks okay. And you know, so of the of the cards that are leaked so far, that's, that's the one that looks the worst. So don't read into that too much. Here's another one, Bruno G. I'm just gonna call him Bruno G because I cannot say this guy's name. The Brazilians get very upset with me if I do. He's coming as an SBC during football birthday. Of course, a brand new transfer to Newcastle. That's going to be a very interesting card for Premier League links and Brazilian links, right? A lot of people still running that flashback Neymar, trying to fit him in their Brazilian slash Premier League teams. This card could be pretty good. He was a Future Stars item last year. If these are confirmed stats, which I don't know if it says that he that they are, uh, I would love to see a little bit more pace. I mean, he needs to be Hullet Gang, right? So, it, you know, that's one thing we'd like to see is a little bit better stats, but that's a pretty cool card uh, for a foot birthday item. And then this is the big one. This is the big one, Silas. And this is a confirmed card. Stats are official, 95 agility. Five star, five star is the hope, right? Because again, this promo is, if card has five star skills, then they usually boost the five star weak foot on the other side of that, right? Or if a card has a five star weak foot, then they usually boost them up to five star skills. So a five, five Silas, would be sounding like it could be a potential this weekend, either in packs as an SBC, not entirely sure. It's not leaked yet, uh, but Silas is getting a card and that has got everybody very, very excited on this game. So those are the main leaks. Now, those I think we can believe in a decent amount and expect to see those cards. This list right here is a list that's been floating around, hasn't really been confirmed that much. I'm gonna drop the link to this down below in the description, but these are some of the names that have been floating around as a part of the foot birthday leaked team. Suarez, Firmino, Dybala, Fakir, Grealish, Odegaard, Ruben Vezo, Silas, Nuno Menz, Guerrero, and Ndidi. And you look at this team, and honestly, this reminds me of last year's foot birthday, right? It doesn't remind me of like FIFA 19 and FIFA 20, where EA absolutely knocked it out of the park. 
this kind of reminds me of last year's Flip Birthday, where, yes, there's a lot of cool cards in here, right? Firmino doesn't have any specials this year. Dybala just got a man of the match, but before that, hadn't had any specials. Suarez has the Rule Breaker. Fakir, of course, has the SBC, but this is an even better item. Grealish just has the ones to watch. Odegaard doesn't have many specials. So Nuno Mench has zero specials so far. So there's some cool players in here, but it's not insane, right? Again, as I mentioned, it really reminds me of last year where we had some really cool cards like Ferland Mendy that was really hype. We had Sané, position change. We had Lucas, uh, which was a very hyped card. Tiago and Mario Hermoso were nice cards as well, but it wasn't like absolutely in your face, incredible, huge names uh, for a promo team. But again, the five-star weak foot and the five-star skill aspect to all of these players will carry some weight, right? And that is always something that people like as promo cards in this game. So again, I'll put this link down below in the description if you want to take a look at it a little bit closer. I wouldn't read into that too terribly much yet until we see some more confirmation, which we probably will have some more leaks today. So keep an eye on Twitter per usual. We do not have a car design yet added into the game. Um, hopefully that car design is added right away on Friday though, so that we don't end up waiting for it to be dropped once the actual promo drops. Uh, this weekend. But of course, with all the leaks, with the loading screen, people know that Foot Birthday is coming. Silver Star Series is on the out and out. I think a lot of people are going to be glad to get back into the regular swing of things on the market in terms of not just having like a, a dead week in terms of meta cards for teams and stuff like that. We had a pretty pretty big team of the week yesterday because of the Mbappe special card that was included. He got really rare tonight and it's kind of gone up in price before rewards. Um, I bought one of these at 2.5 and sold it uh, at 2.8 mil. So that was a really good flip. But the, a lot of the market is actually uh, started to, to slide downwards in price just a little bit because of course people have seen some of these cards that are leaked and they've seen that Foot Birthday is confirmed and they've started to sell because of it, right? Case in point is this Riyad Mars Road to the Final, which is actually back up a little bit. He was 1.05 mil just yesterday. Right now, he's down to about 990. He was actually lower than that before. Um, he, was, he was like 970, I think, at one point. And as you take a look across the market, especially because of that CLOS card, you did see a little bit of panic selling on your higher tier right mids. Ferran Torres, his uh, future stars item was another one that really dropped a lot. He was down at like 820k at one point yesterday. He's back to 870, 880. But you had some of your mid to highest tier right mids get sold off a little bit more. And then in general, you did see the market, you know, kind of tail off just a little bit uh, because people know about Foot Birthday, right? People get excited about it. Of course, we're going to keep a close eye on road to the final cards this weekend because we have Champions League games next week and a lot of people are still looking for these cards and watching them for the potential upgrades that could come. Llorente is down like 20, 30K. Mane is down like 50K. But for a high budget card, that's not a crazy movement. Uh, you know, you, you just have a lot of the market is really just down a tiny bit, really not a lot. But I think once the actual foot birthday promo comes out, uh, since the market has been so high over the past week, actually two weeks to be completely honest, um, with the way that the content has gone, it's it's really going to come down to the SBC content. If this is the actual team or if this is close to the actual team, yes, these cards are pretty cool. Yes, the pack weight should be decently high for some of these players. I remember Foot Birthdays last year were semi-cheap cards, right? They were hyped with the five-star skills, five-star skill moves, or weak foot and skill moves. I just said skill moves twice. But uh, th it's going to come down to the pack weight a little bit with some of these cards too. But in general, I would expect the market today maybe to have a couple fluctuations, of course, because it's rewards day and some, some rewards days people go out and buy cards for their teams. But I would expect the market to continue to see some small drops into the weekend, maybe a bit of a bigger drop on Friday as the actual promo is released, especially if you get some crazy news um, about stuff that it would be coming. Or, you know, there's, there's a lot of variables that always could happen on any given promo Friday or promo weekend that could drop the market a decent amount. And I feel like we've had a high market for the past couple of weeks. So that's especially why I was advising some of you guys to sell um, if you wanted to take the cash on items earlier this week because that was that was the high point right tuesday monday tuesday was the high point you can see cancelo was 890 now he's down to 850 um that's just one example of a card i think this stuff drops lower i'm honestly thinking that it does for most of the cards on the market i do think that a lot of these will drop a little bit lower not a crazy market crash unless ea has something you know nuts up their sleeve uh but i, I do think that you will continually see 
some slow moving drops throughout the weekend if the foot birthday content is pretty hype. Now, usually it is. And this is one thing I want to mention about foot birthday content. I want to look at last year's SBCs. This could be a promo that really uh, could drain some coins off of the market in a pretty spectacular fashion because, of course, you think about it, right? Foot birthday, you think birthday, you think gifts, you think party bags, right? And foot birthday in general has been a party bag heavy promo in the past few years. Take a look at last year's SBCs. We had the 81 plus player pick, 80 plus, 86 plus double upgrade. We had all of like the, the daily or, or pack supply SBCs. They weren't quite daily, but you know, birthday candles. We had a pinata SBC. We had the anniversary celebration, cake frosting, birthday wish, you know, little pack supply SBCs like that. But look at what these are giving out. Prime gold players pack, premium electrum players pack, premium gold players pack. Those are solid SBCs. Then of course we had the, the player SBCs from uh, every single year of FIFA ultimate team. We had the Royce, we had the Gervinho, right? And then you see the party bags, right? I think we had three party bags during the foot birthday promo. There's one, there's two, and there's three, three different party bags during that promo, uh, 82 to 88 upgrade, the 83 plus double upgrade. And, and that's just kind of that's just how this, this promo goes, right? It's all about the gamble packs. This is probably going to be very similar to future stars where they were running those gamble pack SBCs like almost every day, whether it's a year in review type player pick, whether it's an 85 times three, like we had earlier this week, that's the kind of content that I would expect to see a lot during foot birthday. A lot of those little gamble SBCs that'll cost you like 50 to hundred K that a lot of people will want to do because, oh my goodness, you never know what I might pack. You know how those go, right? We've gotten used to those this year. Uh, by the way, this isn't terrible value as fodder drops, um, into Friday. I know that this expires on Friday, but if you want to craft this, maybe you get your rivals rewards today, craft this up, get it done. And then you have an 85 times three for foot birthday this weekend. That's not a bad thing to do. Of course, that what if factor of, could I pack a promo card? Is, is really why you want to do this SBC. But the, the content during full birthday is going to be pretty good. Even if the cards that are in packs aren't the most insane items ever, uh, they're still going to be pretty hyped because of those five-star skill move, five-star weak foot uh, upgrades. But it's really going to come down to the SBC content. And if it's as good as last year or on par, then uh, foot birthday is going to be a pretty hype promo, especially with the swaps program that is uh, leaked to be a part of foot birthday as well. That would make that'd be another reason to think that foot birthday would be a really really good promo once again in this year now as we just talked a lot about sbcs sbc fodder has continually dropped and we we talked about this monday and tuesday as well that was the peak sell time for a lot of those cards as well you see 88s like tony cruz are now wow they're dropping off a lot tonight before rewards um, with everybody knowing that what is coming this weekend, pack supply, Cruz is 33,000 coins. He was 43,000 coins on Tuesday, literally in like 24 to 36 hours, this card has dropped down like 10 K in value. It's crazy to see how these have dropped off because people are waiting for this upcoming promo and there's not as much SBC demand since the, the SBCs have really slowed down. And, uh, yeah, you just have a lot of people that are waiting for this upcoming promo, but this weekend is going to be an incredible time like we just mentioned with all the SBCs that we would expect to come, the gamble packs specifically, it's going to be a great weekend to watch fodder. It's going to be a fantastic weekend, especially Friday, especially Friday and Saturday. Uh, depending on what SBCs we have on the promo content drop, there's going to be so many uh, saved up packs. That's what I'm trying to say. Saved up packs. That's going to bring in a ton of supply on Friday. So definitely keep an eye on fodder. If you sold it this week and you're ready to get back in, there's going to be a huge potential to do some of that this weekend with the mid tier, the high tier. You, you think EA is going to not have icon upgrade SBCs available during this promo? There's no way that they're going to let any of these icon upgrades expire, right? They keep dropping the mid icon player pick. This is the third time that we've had it now. Uh, we still have the prime icon upgrade that was out here as well. So I would imagine that especially with icon moments coming out this weekend, we're going to continue to see some of these icon upgrade SBCs, not like an icon moments upgrade pack quite yet. Maybe we get to that icon moments, like a, a prime or moments pack. Um, you know, that still would be a couple weeks down the line, I think, but with the icon moments coming out and maybe an icon moments SBC in the next couple weeks as well, 
EA is still going to keep those uh, the mid player pick or the prime upgrade pack. Maybe they would step their way up to a mid or prime player pick. That could be the next step um, as a part of foot birthday. Those are going to continue to stay out as well. That's going to be a fodder, um, I guess, demand, a demand for a lot of fodder with those SBCs continually being out, not to mention whatever player SBCs they drop during foot birthday as well. So fodder is going to be a big, big watch this weekend. Now let's talk about today on Thursday a little bit more. Technically, Silver Stars is like over, right? Musanda yesterday, uh, we had two objective players in uh, Baker and who was the other guy? Baker and Rudder were our last two still Silver Star series. These cards are pretty easy to get if you did the... Um, the objective game mode here, not too bad. Five-star weak foot for Rudder, which is decent. Same thing with um, Baker for a center defensive mid. But uh, that's kind of over, right? And I think a lot of people are glad to see that ending. But we are supposedly getting some more um, milestones today, I believe. And I want to take a look at this because this is very interesting. Uh, foot Sheriff posted that we are going to be having some uh, MLS foundations now we always we all thought that this was going to be coming out earlier than it actually did but guys like shakiri mukhtar and there's a couple more down here uh moreno who's a five-star skiller robinson and let get um i'm terrible at saying that guy's name but those are mls foundations that are evidently coming today he said they're coming soon and then after that he said it's it's coming today on thursday so some more objectives last minute to grind if you're a usa folk or you want to kind of have an mls squad those are going to be some new cards that would potentially drop today on thursday but other than that for thursday content um one thing i could maybe see ea doing is i believe they did this last year right before uh, foot birthday started was they dropped basically like an 85 times 10 they dropped another one of those uh, sorry not an 85 times 10 an 85 times three like another sort of gamble pack or an 84 plus player pick that sort of thing that they could drop today on thursday to get you excited about what tomorrow's um you know promo could be and have a potential to pack one of those cards from the brand new promo of course marquee matchups for today which by the way is uh it is leaked I'll take you through these really fast because I know some of you guys might get ahead of the game here with a little bit of preparation on the marquee matchup side of things. Uh, where's the sweet at? Bayern versus Leverkusen, Man City, Man United, Roma, Atalanta, and Wanderers and Sydney FC. So that is uh, the news for today on Thursday with marquee matchups. Also, Icon Moments, he says here, still scheduled for Sunday. So that's going to be a part of the foot birthday weekend as well. Well, so it's going to be a pretty big weekend, right? Foot birthday is always a big promo. I'm excited to see how EA do it this year. I mean, last year, of course, like we talked about in yesterday's video, we had specific SBCs um, based on the year that that player was very hyped in, right? So, you know, I would love to see that same sort of aspect this year. I'm just excited because foot birthday usually brings out good SBCs, pretty good cards and packs, and it's a pretty hype promo in general. They usually go all out with the content, and I'm excited to see that continue after a slow week in this game. So also, this is this is a little, I had to share because this is some TFA, um, I guess you could say a milestone for TFA, hitting a lead division. There's still, what, two weeks to go? We still have two weeks of season four. TFA has hit the elite division. I need, I need to win one more game to get myself the reward upgrade to get my uh, 100K packs. and It's like 100K packs and 50K packs. I just got in yesterday, feeling good, finally got here, but it's nice. It is very, very nice to be in the elite division, especially with the God Squad that helped out so much. Shout out Messi, shout out R9 uh, to get to where we are. But I had to quickly share that um, because that was really dope. We did make a few coins yesterday, not really that many. I did buy some Dembele's after his team of the week card is extinct at 180k, which is bogus. That card is going to be like 130,000 coins this weekend during foot birthday or less. Uh, so I bought a few of these at like 340, sold them at 370. He did go up to 380 at one point. Uh, he's still kind of chilling around that 370 range. And then I did buy an Mbappe for 255 and sold it for 28 because this guy uh, just got a little bit cheap after he was out in packs. So I, uh, I picked one up and he actually did end up selling here at 285, as you can see at 282. So maybe could have got like 20 or 30 K more for him, but that was a nice flip. And uh, I feel like I've kind of taken a slight break from trading this past week with the whole promo, but it was a good break, right? So I'm excited to be back this weekend um, and in full force, got the trading juices flowing again, having a big number in the top left really motivates me to keep that growing. 20 mil by tots, question mark. I would love to get there. That'd be, that'd be so insane um, to get to a number that would seem almost 
like uh, having, you know, as many coins as you need for team of the season upgrade packs, all the content and stuff like that heading into the latter parts of this year. Uh, that's kind of what I'm grinding for right at the moment with the trading and with the market is, of course, keep grinding that coin total up, keep growing that balance until we get to team of the season and in the latter parts, and then use that coin balance over those last few months to do all the SBCs, all the content, because there's still a lot of stuff that comes out in the summer. So I want to be able to do that with the coin balance that I do have. So anyways, that's enough of that rambling. But Foot birthdays tomorrow, man. I think we're excited. I am excited. I hope you are. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, watch the Twitter again for leaks. Not my Twitter, but Foot Sheriff on Twitter. He's going to be posting a lot more stuff, I'm sure, today. Because there's going to be a lot more information. Hopefully, we get a loading screen. And hopefully, the MLS foundations are not that hard to do. Because I would love to do them for the MLS squad. But anyways, thanks for watching the video today, lads. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate Foot Account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.